Welcome to the Berry Girls Kitchen. I'm Linda. And I'm Kylie. Well, today we're making it count with easy and delicious gluten-free tuna noodle casserole. Yes. And we're doubling down by having gluten-free cornbread. With gluten allergies appearing more and more in our foods, it's so important to have healthy gluten-free options so you and your family can enjoy. <laughs> I agree. And what is a gluten allergy mm -hmm. or an intolerance, you may ask? Well, it's characterized by an adverse reaction to gluten, and gluten is a type of protein that's found in wheat, barley, and rye. Yes, and this may cause issues like stomach bloating and constipation, tiredness, joint pain, and numbness. It's just an all over ow. Okay. <laughs> so it's important to know if you have a gluten allergy to really discuss that with your healthcare provider so you can get a plan of action. Yes. So let's get started. In a large saucepan, we're going to bring our water to a boil. From there, we're going to add our pasta and boil according to package instructions. And in a medium bowl, we're going to add our soup, tuna, yogurt, mayo, mustard and we're going to stir to combine and we'll add a little salt and pepper to taste. Oh yes, but close to the end of the pasta boiling time, we're gonna add our frozen peas and carrots to the water. Bring that back up to a boil and then once that does its due, we're gonna drain the pasta, the peas, the carrots. Do not worry if they're not fully cooked, they'll continue to cook in the oven. Mm -hmm. Now in a buttered baking dish, you're going to stir together the pasta mixture and the tuna mixture and then we're going to top with shredded cheese and gluten-free breadcrumbs. Cover with foil and bake at 350 degrees mm -hmm. for about 20 minutes. And then we're going to remove the foil and bake an additional 10 minutes or until the mixture and cheese is bubbly. Oh my goodness, that's the best part. Oh, the bubbles, <laughs> the cheese bubbles. <laughs> now on to our gluten-free cornbread. Now, if you're short on time, there's a couple of things you can do. You can purchase the gluten-free cornbread options that are available at your local market. Corn itself does not have gluten in it, so it's naturally gluten-free. Now, cornmeal is simply made by grinding yellow corn into a coarse or fine consistency. And by this logic, you would think that making cornbread gluten-free requires no extra thought, right? Right. Well, unfortunately, that's not true. No. You really have to be careful about the cornmeal that you yeah. buy and making sure it's not contaminated with gluten-containing grains yes. during manufacturing. Most definitely. You know, there are brands out there that have a certified gluten free cornmeal variety. So if you buy that brand, be sure you pick up the right package. Because most cornbread is made from cornmeal and wheat flour. So it's not actually gluten free. And the only flour in this recipe is coarsely ground yellow cornmeal. Right. So there's no wheat flour in it, so it's naturally gluten free. Let's preheat our oven to 400 degrees yes. and we'll grease a 12 inch cast iron skillet or an eight inch square or round pan, and we'll set that aside. In a large bowl, we will place our cornmeal, baking powder, baking soda, salt, and whisk that all together. Now in a separate bowl, we're gonna place our egg, our butter, our honey, and yogurt, and whisk all of that together as well. Now we're going to create a well in the dry ingredients and pour in the wet ingredients and combine to mix well. Yes. Now, we're going to pull that mixture into our prepared pan and we'll bake for 20 or 30 minutes or until the edges are golden brown and crisp. We're moved from the oven and we're ready to serve with our casserole. And by adding a, a small salad or a vegetable, that just rounds out your meal. You know, Mom, this is such a wonderful take on a traditional recipe. I mean, what, what would you say? I'd say it's a new take on an old favorite. Oh, there you have it. Healthy, family-friendly recipes for you to try and maybe meal prep out of too. And when you try these at home, please leave us a comment and let us know how you make, make it count. count. The Fairy Girls are brought to you by Hen House. 